If you want safe, fast and cheap FIFA coins, well check out the new reliable source, fifacoin.com. Check the link in the description and don't forget to use the code CURTIS for your 5% off. Be it up you to me gamble. Good set seven. <laughs> Come on, stay. See? Bella Gracia? <laughs> that is my poor Italian speaking skills, but welcome to the Juventus Career Mode, episode number one. Welcome, lads. We're finally here. I just want to say thanks for all the support on the last episode. You guys were wonderful with all the help, with all the transfers, ins and outs we want for this Career Mode series. So, uh, thumbs up for you guys. I read every single comment, wrote down the uh, players that I would seriously consider uh, for ins and outs, and uh, you guys have been a great help. So, here we go, lads. Episode number one of this Juventus, about to say Manchester United, for this Juventus Career Mode, episode number Number one. Right, so here we go, lads. Another career mode from the beginning. Now, match difficulty. You guys already know I always play uh, my games on world class. I always used to say it every game, but got repetitive. Used to do my head in. Every game, lads, I play on world class. It's the difficulty that's perfect for me. Yeah, I might smash teams a lot, but at the same time, I do get smashed as well, and I don't dominate my career mode. So, for me, world class is as realistic and as fair as I can get, in my opinion. It's going to be a world class. It's not going to change all right half length i like to play my games on five minutes financial strictness i never touch that stuff currency in sterling that's the currency i always like to use because in real life that's the uh, currency i go off when we buy and sell players especially when i read articles and uh read things online stuff like that so sterling for me i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys from england are the same as well and uh the squads being used lads i'm going to download the latest squads possible from today onwards and of course lads i'm going to turn off the uh, disabling the first uh, transfer window because i want to get stuck in and i want to make some transfers so here we go day one on a brand new career mode series right the uh, chief executive says the transfer market's open thank you very much already know that the board the board say we have reviewed our chances in the domestic cup we'd love a cup run so they want us to win the domestic cup no worries i'll take that on board Again, they say uh, we have a successful uh, season and they want us to win the league title. I think that's fair enough. We should be aiming for that anyways. Um, all right, we've got a scout meeting us and yeah, an assistant manager say we should look for a goalkeeper as well. There we go. Nothing out the ordinary there. Right, so here is the first 11. Let's take a look at our squad now. I've been mucking around with it, jumbling things here, there and everywhere. And I'm pretty sh confident with this first 11, lads. So let's take a look from the back. In goal, we've got Buffon. He is getting on a little bit, but he's going to be our number one goalkeeper. All right, so at left back, we've got Patrice Evra. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of Patrice Evra. I was shattered when he left United in real life. Um, we definitely need a backup left back under Evra as well. Now, where we are strong in this team, in my opinion, is this central defense. We're starting Bazagli and Chiellini. Um, I think they're the best two pairing, in my opinion. Uh, right back, we've got Lich Steiner. Now, I'm pretty sure he's more of a right midfielder than a right back, but he can play right back. Um, I think he's a bit like Antonio Valencia from United, in my opinion. Um... Now in the midfield, oh by the way, we'll be looking for a new right back as well. I'm not sure, a number one right back or a backup for Lich Steiner, I'm not too sure. Anyways, in the midfield, we've got Marquisio, Pirlo and Pogba. I think that's an unbelievable trio in the midfield. Now I know Pirlo has left in real life and he's going to be getting on in his career mode. So I think we'll be looking to bring somebody in as well. Not to replace him, but to play alongside with him or just in and out the team with him. Now in the cam, we've got Arturo Vidal, this guy is a beast. He's one of the main reasons why I'm looking forward to this career mode. And Turo Vidal, I just wish he would come to the Premier League in real life. The guy is an absolute genius. Can't wait to use him. And up front, lads, we've got Morata and Carlos Tevez. So, for me, this starting 11, not much really needs to be changed. Uh, I think it's, I think it, there's a little bit of work to be done, but I think it's quality at the same time. Now, saying that about the first 11, I reckon the substitutes and the reserves need a lot of work there's a lot of depth there but not a lot of great depth and if you want to win the champions league you need a lot of great depth coming off the bench and in the reserves as well so as we take a look here 
uh, we've got a few players who I'm looking uh, to keep and there's definitely a few players in this reserves who I'm looking to sell as well. Right, so let's take a look at what you guys came to see. One of the most exciting things to do on a career mode. Now, we're going to see well, who's on my shortlist. We're going to see who are the players that I've listed to loan and listed to be sold. And as you can see there, my transfer budget, lads, is 38.5 million pounds. Well, just a little bit under. Right, so as we can take a look here, lads, as you can see, I've transferred listed five players and there's six players who I've put on the list to go out on loan. So as we take a look at the first player, Rubinho, not Rubinho, the, the Brazilian uh, striker, Rubinho the 31 goalkeeper who's overall at 69 he looks like to be a backup goalkeeper who was just not going to cut it at Juve. Uh, I think we're going to put him on the list. Now, a controversial one I've put here, lads, is Caceres. I actually looked up this player. Now, he's been at Juve for a few years, back and forth. He was at Barcelona. Um, he is massively, massively injury prone in real life. He looks to be quality, but he looks like the guy is just, just can't play enough games. So he's worth a fair few quid. So I'm going to transfer this thing, trying to get a good wage or a good transfer fee for him rather, and uh, sell him and bring in someone quality who is not uh, injury prone. So a uh, bit controversial that one. Uh, Pepe, 30 years of age, is a winger. He looks like he's going to be decreasing. Um, look at that. He's worth two and a half million. We're not going to get much for him. And when I want to bring in quality uh, wingers as well. Now, a, a massive popular one that you guys recommended to sell was uh, Fernando Lodiente, the Spanish striker, 29 years of age. A lot of you guys are saying that this guy is absolutely useless in real life. Now, I remember him at, at Atletico Bilbao, I think it was, and he was okay back then. So, obviously, the transfer to Juventus hasn't done any favors at all. So, uh, we're going to transfer this thing. Nine and a half million. That's going to be put towards cash to bring in some strikers at the club. Now, another one, lads, is Matari. Matri. I'm not too sure how to pronounce these names. I know I'm going to keep stuffing up these names, and I'm sure people are going to correct me in the comments down below. So, make sure you do so. Matri. Matari. I'm not too sure. 29 years of age. In overall, 76. He's not really going to be making a cut at Juve, is he? Now, when it comes to the loans... There's a few youngsters here. See, as we can see, uh, Benu Marzuk, <laughs> 18 years of age. I don't think we're going to be using him. Uh, Blanco, 18 years of age, 63. Exactly the same as two. Going to be going out on loan. Now, Vitale, he just came to the club, I think. 16 years of age. He's going to go out on loan. Same as this goalkeeper. He's 17 years of age. Overall, 61. Looks like he's got a bright future, this kid. But I'm just going to put him out on loan. Uh, and the other one is Stutaro, 21 years of age. And uh, this is <laughs> Buenas Casa. I, I absolutely butchered that. It is Buena Casa. Buena Casa? Buena Casa? I've totally just butchered that. He's going to go out on loan too. Right, so now that I've told you the players who I'm going to sell and the players who we're going to put out on loan, it's time to look at the players who we're going to be bringing in. So as we can see, my shortlist is right here. And there's a fair few players on this shortlist as well. Now, realistically, we're not going to be bringing everyone on this shortlist. Then there's only going to be a handful of players coming in to Juventus. So let's take a look at the players here. First player, uh, Felipe Anderson. Now, Juve, for some reason, I don't know why, they hardly got any wingers at all. Let alone quality wingers. And Felipe Anderson uh, is at um, Lazio at the minute. He looks like to be a real quality player. Now, like I said in my last video, I don't really want to be bringing in the young players and going them through because this is going to be a pretty quick career mode, probably a season or two at most. So I don't want to bring in the young players who are going to develop. But if he is young and he looks like to be a dead set gun, I would definitely be keen to bring him in. Just not too many young players. Now, a player that signed for Juve in real life, we're going to be bringing him in, and that's Paolo the Baila. I'm not too sure if I butchered that. But 20 years of age, he looks like to be a dead set gun. I'm going to be signing him up. Now, another player who Juve signed in real life is Mario Mandzukic. Now, he's already in this career mode, freshly signed from Bayern Munich to Atletico Madrid. So, we can't sign Mario Z uh, Mandzukic right now. So, I don't know if we're going to do that next season or whenever. We're just not allowed to sign him, which is a shame. Um, but another player linked to uh, Juventus in real life, I actually made a video about this not that long ago, 
is Robin Van Persie. The guy is quality, the guy is getting on, but like I said, he is quality. The guy, look at the stats there for a 30 year old. He is unbelievable, and I think the Italian league would suit Robin Van Persie. I would be definitely keen to bring him in on this career mode. Now, another popular player that you guys recommended was Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, the Chelsea, ex-Chelsea player that couldn't cut it, went back to Wolfsburg and absolutely dominated the Bundesliga. This kid is amazing. He could play in the cam, he could play in the wings. Like I said, you haven't got too many players that can play in the wings. I would definitely be keen to bring in Kevin De Bruyne. I'm just not too sure if we have enough money to bring him in. Another player you guys were keen on was Oscar. Been linked with Juventus in real life. Can't really cut it at um, Chelsea at the minute. So I'll take a look at Oscar. Another player you guys recommended was Eric Lamella. Uh, the Argentinian looks like to be having a great Copa America. Uh, he looks like uh, he could fit into this Juventus squad. He looks like kind of player that could play on the wings for Juve in real life. Now, another player that's a realistic transfer and one that could actually be happening is Willian from Chelsea to Juventus. Uh, again, Juve lacking wingers. They need more wingers. Willian would be a great buy. Uh, another transfer that has happened in real life and for free was Semi Kadira from Real Madrid to Juventus. So I'm going to be trying bringing him Semi Kadira on this career mode. Now he's got one year left. Now as we can see, he's got 12 months left. So hopefully he's valued at 16.5 million. Hopefully we can get him a lot cheaper than that. The next player, lads, is Mattia De Scigglio. Now, you guys recommend this guy. He can play left back and he can uh, play right back. I'm just not too sure if Milan would sell him to Juve. I'm not too sure about that, but we'll take a look at him nonetheless. Next player is Stefan uh, De Vrooy. Now, this guy was linked to United in real life before he signed for Lazio. So, at the start of his career mode, he signed for Lazio. So, that means he is hands off at least to January the earliest. So, uh, I'll be keen to get him in um, to replace Casaras. Uh, what a great replacement that would be, eh? Next player is Danny Elves. Juve, we are lacking left backs and right backs, full backs in general. And Danny Elves, 12 months to go on his uh, contract at Barcelona. What a great addition to the team he would be at right back. We definitely need right backs. Uh, another player right back is a young up and comer right back, but he's still good quality uh, and, uh, enough to come into this Juve to the starting 11. And that's Oriette from PSG. The guy is quality. I love using him on. Uh, ultimate team. He was fantastic. Next player is Daniello as well from uh, Porto. 22, young, up and comer. He's pretty much got similar stats as Aurier. It's pretty much flipping a coin between these two. Anyways, lads, we got the last player on the shortlist and that is Mattia Puren, a backup goalkeeper for Buffon. 21 years of age, lads, and this guy has got stats that look unbelievable. We need a backup goalkeeper. One of our scouts said before that we need a backup goalkeeper. This is the guy who I'm looking to bring in as that backup goalkeeper. All right, lads, so let's get this career mode underway. Let's make some transfers. Let's make some great signings. Hopefully, we can sell a few players too. And lads, let's hope we can win the league. And what really I came here to do is to win their Champions League. So the first player who I'm going to try and sign on this career mode is a signing Juve signed in real life, and that is Paolo De Baila from Palermo. Now, they want 9.7 million to 14.3 million. So what I'm going to do, lads, I'm going to put Alexandro Matri up for trade. He's already on the transfer list. Hopefully, they would want him uh, plus 2 million. Now, obviously, that doesn't match up to what they want, but I'm going to start really short and uh, just hope for the best. Now, the next player I'm going to sign is another realistic signing who signed for Juve in real life, and that's Sammy Kadira. One year left on the contract. Lads, I'm going to put in a cheeky bid for 10 million and see how far that gets us. Now one position that I really want to fill in the squad is the right back spot. We haven't got any good quality right backs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scout Uriah and Danilo. Now if I'm not too happy what they're coming up with, what they produce, uh, I'm going to sign Dani Alves. Or it could be the other way around. You know, It could be I'm not happy with Dani Alves. Barcelona could be asking for too much. And uh, Uriah and Danilo could be a lot cheaper. So I'm going to go scout these two and uh, see what they come up with. Right, so the next player who I want to sign is Matia. Peren. 
Now, I didn't realize this, but Genoa are asking for 11.3 million to 16.7. That is ludicrous for a backup goalkeeper, but the guy looks to be a superstar in the future. That's what they're saying. So, I guess arguably he is worth that much. Now, obviously, I don't want to be spending that kind of money on a backup goalkeeper for Buffon. So, I'm going to be asking a lot less. And um, if it doesn't go through, this deal doesn't go through. But I'm going to be uh, trading Pepe and 5 million for, to Genoa. And hopefully, they might accept that. But most likely, they're probably going to reject it. But you just got to try your luck. So, we get some mail back. And it's bad news on both fronts. Real Madrid said... 16 and a half million is what they want for Semi Kadira and Parlemo saying they want 9 million uh, but they're not interested. Oh, they are interested in uh, the player that we've offered as well. Oh, so that could be interesting. All right, so I'm going to try and up the deal to 12 and a half million for Semi Kadira. Hopefully, Real Madrid will accept this one. And again, I'm going to up the deal as well for Paolo de Baila. 4 million plus my tree. If this one gets knocked back, then I'm going to significantly up the uh, ante with the offer because I really want to land de Baila. This kid seems to be quality. Now, Manchester City have come. I mean, for uh, an embarrassing bid for the money these guys have got. 23 million for Vidal. You're having an absolute bubble. Reject all offers, City. Right, we're going to email back from Genoa. They want 14.6 million for Perrin, the backup goalkeeper. Lads, that is way too much money. I think I'm going to have to invest in another goalkeeper, somebody else. So after that devastating news from Genoa, I'm going to actually go and scout a promising goalkeeper for a backup for Buffon. The only spot in the field where I'll be content with an up-and-coming uh, player for this Juventus side. All right, so we're going to transfer offer here. And this time it's for Stefano Stutaro. I think I stuffed that up, but he's going out on loan. It's a club Bruges. Some great news, lads. The first signing of this career mode. Real Madrid have accepted the deal. 12.5 million for Sami Khedira. Let's go and get this deal done. So the full squad report has come back for the PSG right back, Serge Aurier, 21 years of age. And let's take a look at these stats together. Look at this sprint speed, 85, acceleration, 87, jumping, 90. But the most impressive one for me, stamina, 88. For a fullback, stamina is key because they get up and down so much. 21 years of age, lads, look at the value, 3.3 million. I am absolutely over the moon if we signed Aurier. Right, lads, so after seeing those great stats on Aurier, I'm going to put in a cheeky bid for him. So as you can see, he's valued at 3.3 million. But our chief executive reckons he's probably worth 6.2 million to 8.8. .8. So uh, I'm going to go in between his value and what we reckon he's worth at 5 million and see if uh, PSG are going to accept that. Right, so we've got another transfer offer here. Now, this time it's for Angelo Ogbonna. Now, this player I'm definitely keen to use throughout this career mode. He was a beast on FIFA a few years ago and uh, showing great potential. I think he was at Torino, got transferred to Juventus. No chance of my selling this young gun. Definitely have plans for this guy in this career mode. And would you look at that, lads? Parlemo have accepted the deal for Alexandro Matri plus 4 million. Let's go and get the deal done. He wants £60,000 a week. Let's bump that up to 50. Medium, uh, yeah, 50 is about fair. Let's give him a five year deal, up and coming gun. Hopefully, he accepts the deal. So the scout report has now come back from Daniello, the right back from Porto. And uh, they're pretty good stats, but I must say they're not as good as Aurier's. I think if I was to preference one or the other, I would definitely be leaning towards Aurier than Daniello. All right, lads, we're going to loan offer here for Emil Adario. Uh, we're just going to go and accept that. 17-year-old uh, goalkeeper. We're not going to be using him. All right, so we've got an interesting transfer offer here. Martin Casares. Um, West Brom of all clubs want him for seven and a half million. To be fair, if you're going to want Casares, I'm going to be at least looking for 10 million or above so we're just going to make this 10 million for west brom if i get 10 million for casaras uh, a backup defender i think i'm going to be winning especially if this lads are uh, injury prone as well right so psg have come back they've rejected the uh, five million pounds uh bid for Aurier, they want 8 million, so I'm going to bump it up to 7 million. Right, some great news, lads. Take a look. PSG have accepted the 7 million pound bid 
for uh, Aurier, the right back. That's unbelievable. Let's go and give him a three-year deal. Squad role, let's make him uh, an important first-team player. He will be playing pretty much the number one right back, but uh, 60000 a week, three-year deal. Let's sign him up. What's that deal? And some more great news, lads. Paolo the Baila has signed as well. Gets in. He is the first signing on this Juventus career mode. Paolo the Baila, welcome to Juventus, son. And some bad news, lads. Sammy Kidera has declined the contract. Uh, he wants some big wages, £150,000 a week. But he says he also he wants to be a crucial first-team player. I don't know if I can guarantee that, but he has signed in real life, and I really want him on this career mode. So I'm going to just test something out. I'm going to cut the wages, 120000 a week. going to make him crucial what he wants, and I'm going to see if he's going to accept this deal. And some more great news. Aurea has accepted the deal, lads. £60,000 a week. The second signing for this career mode gets in Aurea. Quality right back. Right, it seems though as if Sami Kadira isn't budging, so I'm just going to give him everything he wants. 150000 a week, which is a lot in my opinion. Crucial first team player. Let's get the deal done. And there we go. Just like that, Sami Kadira has accepted the offer. He's going to be the third signing for the career mode. Get in Sami Kadira. Right, so we're going to transfer offer here for Fernando Lorente. 9.5 million is what he's valued at. And Udinese are going to give me 9.5 million. But I'm going to be a little bit cheeky. I'm going to ask for 10 million, that little bit extra, and uh, try and push my luck. And uh, who knows, maybe they'll accept. And if they do, 10 million pounds coming our way for Lodiente. All right, lads. So we got the first preseason friendly happening here. And it's against the French outfit Toulouse. I've got my reserves in. Don't want no injuries. Don't really care about preseason friendlies. Just want no injuries. And uh, thank you very much. No injuries. Happy with that. And there we go, lads. Udinese have come back and said they're going to give me 10 million for Fernando Lodiente. So it looks like, lads, that deal is almost done. So we've got another transfer offer here, this time for Paul Pogba. And would you guess, Manchester City, 40 million. Let me just say, you are absolutely having a laugh if you think I'm going to let Pogba go to you guys. Right, so we've got the second preseason friendly underway, and it's against Hamburg. Let's get this over and done with. No injuries. That's what we want. Come on. Come at me. Let's skip it. Oh, I saw the band-aid for a second. Thank God it's not us. We did lose 2-1, though, but no injuries. That's the main thing. All right, we're going to transfer offer here for Robinho. Not Robinho, the Brazilian striker, but this goalkeeper, 31 years of age, lads, and I'm just going to go accept the deal. Let's just get his wages off the list and get him out of here. And there's confirmation, lads. Fernando Loriente sold to Udinese. 8.5 million is going to go into our transfer kitty. Right, so it looks like I'm going to make a bid. I've been thinking about it, and you guys have been requesting it. This guy could be a key player for us this season. Kevin De Bruyne, he's worth, lads. They reckon, my chief executive reckons, 30 million to 40 million. That's a lot of money. So, as you can see, lads, I'm going to put up Caceres, who's worth about 9 million plus 12 million pounds. That's a lot of money. This is a huge deal. It's well short of what they're asking for. But at the same time, lads, I don't have that kind of money. Like 30 million, that's uh, a lot of money. So I'm going to see what uh, Wolfsburg come back and say to this deal. It's within that region. Uh, it's not that far off, but, you know, just got to push your luck and see if the deal could be done. All right, lads, so it looks like I'm going to be putting in a bid for Robin Van Persie. Yeah, I know we've got a lot of strikers, but we haven't got proper world-class strikers. We do have Tevez, but... After that, we've got Dabila and Maratta, and they're not at that quality like Robin Van Persie is. So I reckon, well, I know, United are looking for centre-backs. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to be putting up Caceres, and this time, lads, I'm going to be starting off at 6 million and uh, see what United have to say. Right, so another winger that I'm looking at is Eric Lamella. Um, he's valued at 5.5 million, which is cheap as chips. He's showing great potential, and my chief executive reckons for 11.1 million to 15.9, somewhere in that range, uh, we could get Eric Lamella. So, lads, I'm going to offer Tottenham 10 million from the start to land Eric Lamella 
hopefully that deal could get done. And so wouldn't you know it, after giving that offer to Eric Lamella, we are playing Tottenham in a pre-season friendly. So uh, hopefully the uh, top people, the top agents could be working out a deal while this game's going on. And we won 4-0, but we do have an injury but uh, looks like it's only to uh, a reserves player, so I'm not too worried about that. So it turns out Wolfsburg is interested in Caceres, except they just want 32 million on top of him to land Kevin De Bruyne. It looks like, lads, we just don't have that kind of cash for him, but maybe on transfer deadline day, if things get interesting, uh, I might go back in with an offer, but until then, it doesn't look good in signing Kevin De Bruyne. So, we've got some bad news on both fronts, this time from Tottenham and Manchester United. Tottenham saying they want $15.5 million for Lamella, which I don't think I really want to be spending that kind of cash on him. And uh, Man United saying they are interested in Caceres, but they want $16.5 million plus Caceres. So, maybe a deal could be done there. Right, so I've gone back to United. Now I've upped the deal to 12.5 million plus Caceres to land Robin Van Persie. Now I think that's up around the mark. Caceres is a uh, backup defender that could be injury prone. Robin Van Persie is world class even though he is on the decline lads. Imagine him and Tevez up front. That would be a deadly combination for this cream mode. Hopefully United will accept the deal. Now it has finally come to this point lads. The first game of the season. Now it's a cup game against Napoli and I think I'm just guessing here, yeah, this is like their uh, Charity Shield match or Community Shield match. It's the Super Copper against Napoli and we're going to play it right now, lads. Alright, lads, so this is the team that I'm going to be using for this game. It's a 4-4-2 or it's a 4-3-1-2, whatever you want to call it. So um, in this game, because it's a it's a cup game, it's, it doesn't really mean much, um, I'm going to be playing all my new signings in this game. So as you can see, up top, lads, we've got the Baila and Carlos Tevez up top. Now, in the cam... Just behind them, we've got Vidal in the middle. Now, in the middle of the park, lads, we've got Sammy Kidira, Pirlo, and Pogba. Now, at the back, lads, we've got Evra at left back, Bezagli and Chiellini at centre half. And at right back, lads, we've got Uriah. So, I uh, can't wait to use him. And, of course, in goals, we've got Buffon. Just before we start this game, I just want to show you guys my settings. Just because there's a few guys out there who always ask me for my settings. But everything's on default. I don't touch anything uh, visual. Uh, I've got the player name indicator, so you can see that during the game. But audio, commentary down. But other than that, lads... All these sliders, don't touch them, can't be asked with them. I, I don't, some people touch them, I don't know why, I just don't even bother, I waste my time with that. So that's my settings, 5 minutes world class, you guys know the deal. Here we go, first game of the season with Juventus. Actually really looking forward to this career mode, I think it's going to be fantastic. Especially doing the City R, a league that I've never ever done any career mode ever before on. So, Juventus, special team, special career mode, and I want to get off to a winning start. What a team this is though, look at the players there, Pogba, look at Pirlo with that manly beard. Evra, Napoli, not going to be easy to beat, I'm really looking forward to this game. Right, here we go lads. Let's have a successful career mode on your lads. Forza Juve! <laughs> Hemsik. Hemsik's a really good player. We're going to shut him down. They give it to Jose Calderon, the ex-Real Madrid player. Gets it in. Come on, lads. Come on. Block the shot. Buffon with the save. Jose Calderon's in behind Evra. Evra can't stop the cross coming in. Bazagli with the header away. Tell you what, we're struggling here, but we've got a good defense. Uh-oh. Jose Calderon is in behind. Jose Calderon... Tell you what, he's cut back really good. Hemzig puts it wide. Hemzig just couldn't control the ball. Alright, this is nice. This is better. Debyla. Have a look at Tevez. Lays it off. Pirlo. Can he have a crack? No, he can't. I'm just finding it really difficult in this opening half here. Nice. This is good. Pirlo. Come on, Tevez. Make the run. Pirlo, can you put him in? Tevez. Tevez hit it first time. Oh, what a save. Nice bit of play there. That's still in. Can we get that? Can we capitalize? No, we can't. And in fact, lads, it's half time. And better say, Napoli fully dominated us that first half. But had that chance at the end. Hopefully, that's promising. We can continue in better form in the second half. Mertens again against Aurier. Beats him. 
Inla and Kealini is there. Our defense is just, you're not beating us. We're just, we're just like a massive brick wall. Ain't getting through. All right, Pogba, he's got some room. Pogba, he sees Vidal. Vidal, he wants to get in. Cuts inside, step over. Vidal, have a shot, son. Vidal, nobody there to clean up. Kadira, can you win the header? No, he can't. Have a look at this. Vidal sees the run of the Baila. He's thin. He's in behind. He's got three to beat, plus the goalkeeper. The Baila. He does the Berber spin and he couldn't do nothing else. So, so close. There we go, lads. Full time. I'm not too sure if it's going to go extra time or straight to penalties. And we are going to extra time in this game. Not the greatest result in the world, but not the worst either. Oh, Inla with a ball early on. Bezagli is all over that. Vedel. Nice. Here we go. Away we go. Oh, Jesus, Higuain. Now you got to get an injury. Now. What happened there? What happened there? Tell you what, that was very lucky. Give it back to him. Again. Pereira with the winner. Hopefully, Pereira gets in, son. Referee dropped the ball, and we just played on. I have no idea what happened there. That was... I feel bad for scoring, but hey, it's there to be won. Roberto Pereira gets a goal fresh off the bench too. High hopes for this kid. He looks to be a real player. Oh, Evra, good tackle. Can you win it back? Lays it off to De Boiler. Have a shot, son. De Boiler! What a save from the keeper. Still got the ball. Evra to Pogba. This is his range. Pogba, have a shot, son. Pogba! Oh, what's a goal for Pogba? An early contender for a goal of the season. Tell you what, lovely touch. Went round the defender and just hit it. What a shot, son. Very, very happy with that goal. Look at that bend on that. Bend that like Pogba. There we go, lads. Super Coppa champions. 2-0 against Napoli. Good display after half time. We definitely were shocking that first half. Came out second half much better. And in extra time, we were clearly the better team. And there we go, lads. The first trophy, hopefully, of many to come in this career mode series. Get in, lads. Anyways, lads, that's come to the end of the first episode. What a great first episode that was. Super Copa Champions. We made some great signings, but make sure you stay tuned to the next episode because we've got not only the transfer deadline day, we're going to be having signings. I'm not done yet, but we've got the first league game of the City R as well. So that's going to be massive. I can't wait to that. And I'm sure you guys can't wait as well. But like always, lads, please drop a cheeky like if you enjoyed this episode and if you want to follow me on any of my social media accounts please check the link down below and uh, Twitter Facebook Instagram they're all in there go check out the links but anyways as I've been your boy Curtis 7 make sure you stay tuned for more episodes make sure you subscribe take care and peace starting for glory what does a dartboard and the Premier League have in common and just like that, you can see the 20 numbers have been replaced by the 20 Premier League clubs. Shit! Our first hole in the wall. <laughs> oh gosh, that can't be too good at all.